Right guys, here we are at the Disney store. Let's go inside and see what they've got for us today. Over here I found the mega load of four Ragnarok Pops, they seem to be in abundance here and oh what we got here we got the Bruce Banner exclusive, now I've been looking for that for a while and glad to find that, we've got the Grandmaster here, $14.99, it's not bad for a Comic Con exclusive pop, we've got the exclusive Hulk here without the Gladiator helmet and here we've got the uh, Hulk with the Gladiator helmet, I do prefer the one with the Gladiator helmet to the one without but we've got that Bruce Banner which I think I might pick up and down here we've also we've got four Hela, Valkyrie and Loki we seem to have quite a few um, Bruce Banners back here and I think that's one I'll pick up today but uh, 10.99 I think that is one I'll pick up over here I found some pops in the new Disney film Coco and uh, I was pretty excited to see because as you can see here there's one pop missing because I've got it in my hand that I've come across in the Disney store it's a chase. I cannot believe I found a chase in the Disney store. That's the first time I've ever found one in the Disney store. Anything good? It's from a film I haven't seen, but I think I'm definitely going to pick it up for £10. I can't leave it. Right guys, over to HMV now on Optra Street. We're gonna go inside and see if we can pick up anything good. Right guys, one thing I did notice in HMV is they had so many Pennywise. They were stacked right back, Pennywise there, and then we had a big bundle of them. So let's have a look at it here. Oh, stupid bag caught on the camera. Get away, stupid bag. And um, yeah, they had these ones with the new blue eyes, but I asked by the count if they had any chases. They said they didn't. They said they received boxes and boxes of Pennywise in, but just no chase. So I was a bit disappointed in that. When I saw the amount of Pennywise they had, I thought they were going to have a chase. But the man by the counter unfortunately told me they didn't. So anyway, let's go back to look at the other pops. Another thing I will say guys is this week they did have lots of stuff discounted. As you can see pops were as cheap as $3.99, there's some for $4.99, $5.99, there's loads. There's lots of pops I really wasn't interested in for $3.99, but if you are interested in them they've got them here. But here's what I am interested in, that the white, I really do like that.
One thing I will say about HMV at the moment is I think they actually are outnumbering pops to DVDs and CDs. I mean, these the main pop sections I film at, but then by the counter, and then they have stuff all above the DVD stands, under the DVD stands, upstairs and downstairs. Like, and it's just mental. The amount of pops they do have is unreal, and they do they do put an extra bit of price on it. But I mean, if you're looking for one and it's hard to find, and you just want to get it, definitely head over to H and V on Oxford Street. It is absolutely stacked. I thought I'd just add that in here. Hey everyone, well I'm back from London as you can see and I did hit up Disney Store and HMV. I went to those two shops and I did film in there and I did also go to Forbidden Planet but they didn't have anything and it was far too busy for me to film in there. I'm going to head back there one day in the future, in the week, do a film in there when it's less busy because it was just madness. But I'm just going to show you guys quickly what I picked up in London today and um, let's get started. Right, when I got home um, from work on Friday, because my birthday's coming on uh, Wednesday, so um, I was sent this in the post by my mum. Just wanted to show this off. It's the bloody version of Lucille from The Walking Dead from McFarlane Toys. I'm really impressed with that. Didn't ask for it. Didn't really sort of like give any hints I wanted it, but it was something I would never have brought myself, but I'm really glad I've got. So I just wanted to show that off to you guys in this first. But, but first of all, from the Disney store, I managed to pick up this Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Ego for $4.99, so that's not too bad. I've got the rest of the Guardians, so I thought I saw them in the sale, and I thought I'm going to uh, pick that up. They didn't have any of the other ones like Mantis or Taserface, but I thought... For $4.99, I'm not leaving that behind. In the Disney store, I managed to pick up this 
exclusive Bruce Banner pop from Thor Ragnarok. I think this is exclusive in Walmart in the US, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I've never seen this about before. I've seen it on other people's toy hunts and uh, things on um, YouTube from America, and I thought I definitely want to pick that up. And I walked into Disney store and they had it for £10, so I thought, yes, I will add me some of that. So I picked that one up. And as you can see in the Disney store video, I did find a chase. It is this here. It's Miguel from Coco. I don't know this film, I think it's just being released here in the UK this week. And um, I just saw, I thought a chase in the Disney store, they barely ever have pops, I couldn't believe it. So I just picked this guy straight up. Hopefully the film's good and I enjoy the character. But the only thing is, that's what it normally looks like. And I think that looks better than the chase. But a chase for £10, I thought I can't leave it behind in the Disney store. When am I ever going to find a chase in the Disney store again? Right, went over to HMV as you can see in the video and I only picked up one thing. I picked up that Dwight, that Comic Con exclusive Dwight. They were selling it for 40 quid and I thought, what are you talking about? £40 for a pop in HMV. Then it went down to 20 and I thought, oh. But I did look on the internet and I can't find it any cheaper than that, to be honest, for me to buy straight away. So. I thought I just had to bite the bullet and pay 20 quid for it. But to be honest, I really do want it and I regret passing it up. I saw it on ForbiddenPlanet.co.uk when they released all the Comic-Con pops back in October. And I just passed up on it because it was 14 99 I thought, what are you doing? So I'm glad I managed to pick this up because that is an awesome pop. Reviews of all of these will come on this channel. I went to a small little comic shop just off of um, Chinatown. And sometimes they have bagged figures. And I picked one up for very cheap. It's this... Uh, I think it was the Walgreens exclusive Marvel Legends Daredevil. I managed to pick that up for pretty cheap because it didn't have the removable, the, the interchangeable head that had been lost. So I didn't care. I'm not going to display it with a Matt Murdock head. I've just been after that for a while. And Forbidden Planet was selling it for 25 quid. So I'm glad I picked it up pretty cheap, loose. So that's what I'd show that off. The last thing, guys, I picked up for Forbidden Planet. It's the only thing I did pick up in Forbidden Planet. And I'm going to show you what that is. If you've seen other videos on my channel, you're well aware I collect the Marvel Legends 12 inch. This one was kind of expensive, about 60 quid, but I bit the bullet because I wanted it very badly. It is the 12 inch, well, it's definitely not 12 inch, it's about 15 inches, I'd imagine. Hulk figure from Marvel Legends. I am impressed with this. I've had it out of box, I've had a look, and I cannot wait to display it and review it. That is amazing. That box is lovely as well. Look at that. Some product shots on there. The Hulk. And yeah, so I'm really, really pleased with picking that up. And I know it was expensive, but I thought, sod it, I'm going to get it. But guys, right, thank you for sticking with me during this um, hunt in London, at HMV and Disney store. Can't believe I found a chase. Lucky today. And I will be doing more hunts very soon in the future. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Drop a comment down below of anything you saw in the hunt video that you liked or anything that I picked up. Don't forget to give this video a like. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. I'm at 92 subscribers and I really appreciate getting to 100. I will do a giveaway when I get to 100 subscribers. And I will also do a collection video of all my things. I will be doing a Star Wars Black Series collection video. That should be dropping very soon. But thanks guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.